it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the multi grunge cam effect in After Effects. And before we start the tutorial I'm happy to announce that I've made a new editing pack called the grunge pack. Usually creating some glitch effects but this was a little bit new type of effect uh, to create and uh, I really enjoyed it and I think it turned out pretty pretty good and uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code It's going to be a Pelle. If you use that code you will save five dollars of that pack Let's get right into the tutorial here. So here I've added a clip here I'm going to be using for the effect and for this effect We're going to start off by making a adjustment layer control up Y and the first effect we're going to be adding is called curves And our graph is going to look something like this. You're going to make a dot here I'm going to drag this up like this and then you're going to make a dot here drag it to something like this it's going to create this s kind of shape here and this is how it's going to look so far the next effect we're going to be adding is called vignette and i'm going to be increasing the amount to 170. then we're going to be adding a colorama go to input phase and here i'm going to be changing the get phase from to red and then you're going to play around with the phase shift here i'm going to drag this down to something like this pretty cool look after that add the effect called motion tile here i'm going to be dragging down the height to 60 then the output width to 80 and for the tile center i'm going to set the uh, y position here to 210 and you guys can adjust a little bit to get it more accurate 216 is the fully accurate one it's going to be 50 50 here it looks something like this Pretty cool and unique effect, I think. And now I'm going to make it glow. So I'm going to be adding the glow effect here. Start off by setting the glow threshold to 40. And then set the glow intensity to 0.2. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the glow. And then for the glow threshold here, set it to 50%. Glow radius 250. And then increase the glow intensity to 0.4. And then the final glow here, Ctrl D. Set the glow radius to 500, the glow threshold to 60%, and then the glow intensity to 0.6. Now we get a pretty good looking glow, I think. And after that, we're going to be adding noise to get this grunge look here. Set the amount of noise to 75. And to delete this glow here on the uh, uh, black bars, uh, we are going to be adding another motion tile effect. And then the output width is going to be 50. It's going to fit perfect there. Yeah, pretty unique looking grunge effect in my opinion. I think it looks very, very cool and uh, works perfectly for music videos and edits. Really, really cool to use. And now I'm going to be showing you guys a effect from my new grunge pack. And you're basically going to make a adjustment layer, control alt y and here I'm going to be adding the grunge effect 14. And this is how it's going to look. I think it looks really, really cool. And this is just one of the effects. It's no plugins at all. So if you don't have any plugins, this pack is perfect for you. You don't need any plugins. You just need After Effects. It's amazing for your music videos. And if you're an editor that works with clients, you can buy this pack, get some new effects, charge more on your services, your uh, editing, your products, just saying. A very, very good investment for editors. And uh, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out our socials and our, join our Discord server. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.